All right then, let us try to solve this question, okay? It's a mathematical question, paper one, grade 12. Now let us read the statement together as well as the question together before we solve this question. This question, now they say to us, a steel pavilion at a sports ground comprises of a series of 12 steps of which the first three are shown in the diagram below. Each step is five meters wide each step has a rise of one third meters and has a thread of two third meters as shown in the diagram. Now the open side on each side of the pavilion must be covered with metal sheeting. Calculate the area in meters squared of metal sheeting needed to cover both open sides. I mean the open side in this case is, it is shaded on the sketch, the, the, the shaded part, the shaded side. It's an open side of this uh, steel pavilion. Now here, this is what is happening. You are told that you have a series of 12 steps, meaning this steel pavilion at a sports ground. It comprises of a series of 12 steps. But here on the diagram, you are only shown the three steps of a steel pavilion, which is step number one, step number two, and step number three. Meaning, actually, there are 12 of them, just that they managed to show you only three steps of this steel pavilion. Now, you are also given the magnitudes of different laterals, meaning different sides. You are given that from this point to that point, which is the, the, the width of the step, it's 5 meters. And the rise of the step from this point to that point is one third meters. And the thread of this step from this point to that point is two third meters. You are only given those magnitudes and those laterals of this uh, steel pavilion step. Now, a question it says to you, you're going to have to calculate the area of metal sheeting needed to cover both open sides. Meaning, you're going to have to calculate the area of the right hand side and as well as the area of the left hand side together what is the total area of those two sides but now the area of what side the area of this side which is which is which is shaded but remember you're only given three steps meaning you want the area of 12 steps okay the shaded part meaning which is this side it has to come it has to be made or it has to be composed of 12 steps but here on this diagram it's only three but we're going to use this information so that we can actually be able to calculate for the 12 steps so now we want the area of this side until the step until step number 12 but now in order for us to calculate the area of this side there must be formulae that we supposed to use maybe in order for us to calculate the area of this side now here's the thing here is the thing in order for you to calculate the area of this side until step number 12, you're going to have to use the shapes which are available. If I say to you, calculate the area of this side, you wouldn't be able to calculate the area of this side because we do not know the formula of the area of this side. But because that side, it is made up of some shape. In this case, what is the, what is the name of the shape? The name of the shape is rectangle, meaning this side it is made up of 12 rectangles because we are talking about the 12 steps how did i see that there are 12 rectangles because step number one step number two step number three from this point to that point meaning this shape can you see this shape this shape meaning it's a rectangle which is a rectangle made from step number one and this shape again it is also a rectangle but a rectangle of step number two this again is a shape of rectangle but a rectangle of step number three meaning moving forward with other steps until step number 12 there are 12 rectangles meaning i'm going to determine the area of this the area of that plus the area of that plus the area of fourth step until the 12th step i would be able to know the area of that shape as it is starting from step number one to step number 12 you understand what i'm saying but now how am i going to approach this problem how am i going to calculate the area of 12 steps at the same time now this is what is happening like I said, you are given the laterals, okay? You are given, meaning this five, you're not even going to use it. Meaning from this point to that point, which is the thread, I get this side is equal to this side, which is the same as that side. So from this point to that point, it's two third meters. You understand what I'm saying? From this point to that point, it's two third meters, two third meters until step number 12. Meaning I have the magnitude of this side for each and every step. So this side, I'll just call it maybe L. 
and this side I'll just call it L and I'll just call it L until step number 12 and this side I'll just call it B which is breath maybe for an example is breath maybe now B of first step is equals to how much is one third you are given because this side corresponds with that side meaning B of this side you are given to be you are given the magnitude of this side which is one third meters but now what about the B of the second step what about the rise of the second step remember second step it is made up of two rises of the first step meaning second step it is made up of this rise which is equal to that rise of the first step plus this rise meaning there are two rises that are present on the second step meaning it's how many one thirds we are talking about two one thirds the first one third and the second one third for step number two meaning i would be able to calculate or i would be able to know the magnitude of the rise of step number two which is definitely one third multiplied by two or you can just add one third two times okay and now same applies with the third step i would be able to know the rise of the third step how many rises do we have on the third step there are three of them first one third second one third and third one third meaning there are three one thirds on this side which is remember i'm going to call this side b b b meaning there are three one thirds on this side which is the magnitude of b you understand what i'm saying so i'm going to use these rectangles to calculate their areas now let us start now when you calculate the area of a rectangle what do you do when you calculate the area of rectangle when you calculate the area of rectangle a is equals to l multiplied by b that's what we are going to do but now i want the area of the first step i'm going to call it area number one area of this rectangle of the first step is going to be what is the magnitude of L and B? L in this case is equal to how much? L is equal to 2 over 3. And then B is equal to how much? Is equal to 1 over 3. And when you punch this in your calculator, how much do you get? You get 2 over 9 meters squared. That will be the area of the oh, 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 oh. that will be the area of the first rectangle on the first step. And on the second step, remember I told you what is the magnitude of our B and then L, it will be constant throughout. So to calculate the area number 2, area number 2 is going to be L multiplied by B. In this case, our L is 2 over 3, 2 third, 2 over 3 multiplied by our B. Now this is our B. How many Bs do we have that corresponds with this one? We have two Bs. One third plus one third is two. Then I'm just going to say my B in this case is going, is going to be... 2 multiplied by 1 over 3 and therefore what will be my answer it will be a uh, 4 yes it will be 4 over 9 meters squared and for area number 3 how am i going to determine area number 3 how many one thirds do i have here 1 2 3 3 1 thirds 3 1 over 3 so but now what is my l l is constant it's 2 over 3 it doesn't change it's 2 over 3 multiply by 3 multiply by 1 over 3 is equals to how much this cancels as this is 1, meaning it's going to be 2 over 3 meters squared. Now I know the areas of these rectangles of the first three steps. Okay, so I am going to formulate what? I am going to formulate a series because I want to add the areas of these three steps until 12 steps. Now this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, formulating my series, I'm going to say area number 1 plus area number two, plus area number three, plus, so it's here, yes, three plus, ta, 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 until the last area, which is area number 12. So what is the magnitude of area number one? It's two over nine, plus what is the area of, what is the area, the magnitude of area number two? It's four over nine, plus what is the area of number three? It's two over three, plus ta, 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 to area number 12. I can determine the area number 12. What is the magnitude of area number 12? You can, you can. You're just gonna say 2 over 3 multiplied by 12 multiplied by 1 over 3. You can do it, okay? Which is 2 over 3, which is my length, which is not the L, which is constant, multiplied by 12 steps, 1 over 3. That will be the magnitude of your last area, okay? Now, this is what you're going to do now. Let us add all of these areas. So, now, before we add these areas, we're gonna use formula of sum. But we do not know 
what type of sequence is what type of series is this is this geometric or is this arithmetic now let's check if maybe we want a constant difference we're gonna get the same number so you're gonna say 4 over 9 minus 2 over 9 and then we get 2 over 9 and then let's let us cheat let, let, let us check the constant difference between these two consecutive terms we're gonna say 2 over 3 minus uh, 4 over 9 Oh, we still get the same answer which is 2 over 9 meaning this type of series is arithmetic so to determine the sum of all of this area which formula formula are we going to use we're going to use sn is equals to n over 2 in bracket 2a plus n minus 1 multiplied by d and close bracket now we want the sum of the first 12 terms okay or we want the sum of the first 12 areas because we are talking about the 12 steps so we are going to say s12 is equals to 12 over 2 open bracket 2 multiply a is the first term all the time in this case our first term is 2 over 9 plus n in this case is 12 minus 1 multiplied by our d our d in this case is a constant difference which is positive 2 over 9 and therefore let us punch this on our calculator to determine the sum of the first 12 terms. So we're going to say this is 6 multiplied by uh, 4 over 9 plus uh, 11 multiplied by 2 over 9 close close bracket. And therefore our final answer here would be 52 over 3 meters squared. So meaning this side, the right hand side. Of our steel pavilion the area of that side it's 52 over 3 meters squared but remember question wanted us to calculate the area of metal sheeting needed to cover both open sides we just calculated the area of only this side now in order for us to calculate the area of that side listen the area of this side it has the same magnitude with the area of that side so we're just gonna multiply this answer by 2 or you're just gonna add it two times so you're gonna say the area needed for both the area needed for both sides is equals to just gonna say 52 over 3 multiplied by 2 is equals to how much I'm gonna say 52 over 3 multiplied by 2 it's 34 comma 6 7 meters squared and that will be your final answer and thank you